Now to news on that third vaccine I mentioned at the top tonight. This vaccine nearing the finish line too. Oxford's vaccine now being called highly effective and tonight Bob Woodruff right there with the general in charge of Operation Warp Speed asking how soon after the FDA's emergency use authorization will these first vaccines go out. Here's Tom Yamas. Tonight, what could be widespread progress in the fight against the coronavirus. AstraZeneca and Oxford say early results show its vaccine could be up to 90% effective without any serious safety issues. That's good news. What that tells us now that this is the third vaccine that we have that have given a very high degree of efficacy. Scientists testing different dosing found the vaccine was 90% effective when volunteers got a half a dose followed by a full dose a month later. A conclusion researchers discovered after they gave some volunteers only half a dose, later learning the vaccine was more effective that way. If you can start with half the dose, we will have more vaccine available and we can start vaccinating a larger a group of, uh, of, uh, of people around the world. AstraZeneca's vaccine is more affordable to produce and doesn't need to be stored in extreme cold like Pfizer's. You can store it in the fridge just like you, you store the rest of, of your, your, your groceries. This all comes after Pfizer and Moderna reported their vaccines were found to be up to 95% effective. Pfizer could get emergency use authorization from the FDA immediately following a public hearing on December 10th. Our Bob Woodruff today with the general in charge of distribution for Operation Warp Speed, asking him how long before the first Americans get the vaccine after the green light from the FDA. 24 hours later, vaccines are on the street, right? 24 hours is all it's going to take. Yep. In the beginning, there won't be a choice of which vaccine. Whichever is approved first goes out first. If Pfizer's first, I'll call Pfizer uh, and they'll begin distributing vaccines. It will go to 64 jurisdictions simultaneously, 50 states, eight territories, um, and six metropolitan cities. That was really encouraging to hear today. And Tom, we're getting new information tonight about the timeline for these first vaccines. David, there is some new reporting we have on this. The Secretary of Health and Human Services tells our Bob Woodruff that the first 40 million doses will be coming from Pfizer and Moderna. He calls the news from AstraZeneca and Oxford very promising and points out that it's being made here in the U.S. So once it's approved, it will be ready. David. All right, Tom, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.